-hmm. Now, what I will say is the other person, you need to understand the mentality of the person that you're dealing with. You have no idea what they're willing to do to keep you a secret. You know what I mean? So this man, these two men were willing to murder to keep their secret, which of course ultimately came out anyway. I mean, let's even include uh, Ray Carruth in that. Like they were willing to murder to to hide a secret, keep a secret, or make sure make make or, or change a situation into something else. When in actuality, what it turned out doing is ruin a, ruining a bunch of people's lives. Yeah, right. right. one bad choice. Yep. Because let's call it what it is. Your one bad choice. So if you don't want to be with your your significant other, if you don't want to be with your these shit, these things can happen. You know what I mean? This can happen. Like it, it don't always happen in these situations. But I will, I, like I said, I'll say this, and I'll put myself out there. It happened to me because I did step out on my ex wife, and the shit came out, and I had to answer for that. Mm -hmm. Thank God I was actually now. What I will say is this I wasn't man enough to walk away like I should have been, but I was man enough to stand up to it. I was stand man enough to stand in the shit that I created because I I've ruined and I ruined my whole marriage. Now my marriage wasn't exactly in the best shape at, at, at that point anyway, but I was a coward. And instead of letting my wife go so that she could find somebody that was better suited for her. I did I did my the best that I possibly could do to destroy her heart mm. without thinking about the fact that I'm being selfish as shit. Mm. Instead of and I'm being a coward, I'm scared to look like a bad guy. Well, I was actually being a bad guy. Mm. So I don't want to look like a bad guy, but not paying attention to the fact that I'm a bad guy. I'm fucking around on my wife. So a lot of the times people panic in those situations. And yes. I actually got to a point where I felt like I was about to panic, but then that's when I heard the words of my father. When you have to stand in your old shit, stand tall. Because it, it it's not going to change. It's, it, whatever it is, it, is what it is. When you have to stand in your own shit, stand tall in it, and, and, and actually face it. Face the shit that you that you created, if you, especially when you create it. Right. So, um, um,